I'm the WK-180C, and I'm the best rifle in the world. I'm the WSMCR, and I'm the best 180-style rifle in the world. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Ah! Mm. Howdy, folks. It's Adrian, the hunting gear guy. Today, I wanted to show you the WK-180C, the WSMCR. I shot them uh, kind of head-to-head -head for groups, so I wanted uh, to show you guys the difference in accuracy between the two of them, uh, and then talk a little bit about some of the updates that have happened since they were released. Uh, for the WK-180C, it's been about three years since my last review, and uh, a couple of things have changed about the rifle and, and about what's been happening with them, so I wanted to talk about that. Uh, I've got this thing unloaded. And it's been about a year, I think, since I did my last video on the WSMCR. And same thing with it. There's been a couple of changes to it as well. So um, I've checked that both of these things are empty. Uh, let's uh, talk a little bit more about them. So if you're just here for the accuracy comparison, the WSMCR has a heavier barrel. It's a pound heavier, the, the rifle, compared to the WK. It's more accurate. It's more consistent. Uh, that's the short and long of it. Not by much. I mean, they're both pretty good. They're both right around an inch to, a, to two inches. If you get a good ammo that it likes, one or, or sub MOA is possible. Um, but one to two inches is, is basically what you should expect uh, with these rifles. Now, in terms of the changes that have happened to the WK-180C, um, there's been a couple of things. This is a, a fairly early generation version of it. Um, I've had it for a while. I've taken it to three gun. I've taken it a hunting and that kind of thing. Uh, and it's performed really well for me. There's a couple of things that uh, some people have uh, had issues with. One of the ones, like this is an early one. It's got kind of just a floating uh, charging handle in there. It would kind of like booger up the aluminum on the inside of this uh, receiver a little bit. Some people didn't like that. Uh, so Kodiak designed a magnetic one that, that kind of stuck to the bolt. And then after that, they went to a screw-in one. Uh, and the screw-in one, a couple of people have been having them uh, snap off. Uh, so some companies like Spectre Ballistics have uh, released an aftermarket one that's uh, it's quite a bit more durable. So that's one thing that's happened. Um, the other thing, the, the triggers are, uh, as far as I know, still the same. So use an aftermarket trigger in, in your WK-180C. Don't bother with the, uh, the factory 12-pound one. Uh, and then the other thing that's happened uh, to some owners is the pistons have been snapping. Now, this can happen for a couple of different reasons. Uh, sometimes it's just by random. Sometimes the gas block has started to move on people. So uh, the uh, uh, little Allen keys in the bottom there that uh, that go in, the, the screws, uh, they loosen off a little bit. This gas block can't, uh, and the piston will crack because it's under a lot of stress as it's going back and forth. So that's one thing that's been happening with these. Uh, now, Kodiak's pretty good about this. If you get one that cracks, I think you can just take a picture and send it to them, and they'll send you a new one, and, and you can pop it in, and you're off to the races again. So um, that's what's uh, that's what's been happening with the WK-180Cs. Now, since my last video on the WSMCR, there's been some changes with it too. There's a couple of things that I complained about in my video. One of them, the, the key culprits was this uh, trigger pin, no, firing pin, retaining pin. It was a roll pin. Is that a pins enough? Is that enough times to, I said pins? Okay, I'll stop saying pins. <laughs> the roll pin, uh, as the firing pin hit it, I, I lied, I'm going to say pin some more, uh, would squish. It would like squish in because it's a roll pin. It's hollow in the middle. And then eventually your firing pin would it would no longer be retained and it would fly out the back. Uh, they, I, I've heard that they've replaced those with just a standard AR. I, they're colloquial called like a cotter pin, but I'm pretty sure it's like a split pin or something like that. Anyways, a better pin, one that's going to be more durable. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the other thing that's happened is they've gone to left sides charge, uh, right eject only. So uh, that's a change. Uh, so they no longer have this slot on both sides. Your charging handle's on the left and this uh, right side one is a little bit more closed up. Some people have complained about how open they are on both sides. I personally don't care at all because I'm not in a war zone. I could take this thing to the range for three gun matches and I go hunting with them. And I'm not like in the trenches or anything like that where I care about mud getting into uh, getting into these slots. One of the other changes on the WS MCRs is they've gone to a better stock. This is an aftermarket one that I put on mine. There's a lot of aftermarket parts that I have on both of these rifles because when the AR-15s were banned, uh, I needed to put my parts on something. So I decided to put them on these guns. Uh, I've got a little bit of a wrap here. This is primarily because I get out hunting and shooting when it's like super cold, like minus 20, minus 30 uh, Celsius, which in Fahrenheit, America, Burger, 
degrees is, I don't know, it's cold. When it gets to minus 40, it's about the same. So if it's minus 30 with wind chill, it's minus 40, and that's the same in Celsius and Fahrenheit. It's cold. And aluminum just sucks the heat out of my hand. So I've got this uh, crappy paracord wrap on here just to keep, keep the cold aluminum off. Uh, and then on this guy, I've also got a, a break on here because I've primarily been using this one as my three-gun rifle, uh, which is a, it's great for. Yeah, it's a little heavy, but who cares? I mean, it, it doesn't really matter for three-gun uh, to, to have it one pound lighter one way or the other. Uh, and this thing as an eight-pound gun is fun. All right, next I'm going to show you some targets that, uh, that I shot. These were all at 100 yards. Uh, five round groups and uh, kind of interesting results. So first the WK-180C, uh, this is pretty indicative of, uh, of what kind of groups you'd expect. Somewhere around one to 1 1.5 inches was, uh, was pretty typical with this thing. Uh, now with ammo it didn't like, it got a little bit bigger. With ammo it liked, like this gold metal match one right here, it gave me right around 1.2 inch groups, which uh, that hunter is pretty good for, for a semi-automatic, again, with a lightweight barrel on that thing. Um, so pretty decent. One thing I did notice, um, again, thinner barrel, the point of impact between different cartridges, different bullet weights, that kind of thing, shifted quite a bit. So for example, uh, with this center target, I was, I was aiming here. I got hits over there with the 77 greens. Uh, with up here, I was shooting some 45s, and they're hitting a little bit to the left on me. Uh, with these ones over here, I was hitting a little bit high. With these ones, a little bit, and just kind of all over the place, right? Now, keep in mind, the groups themselves are okay for, for what we're trying to do. Uh, and you'll just have to sight in. So you wouldn't expect uh, that if you're firing one cartridge that you can switch to another one with a, a different bullet weight and uh, and still get in like acceptable accuracy. You'll definitely need to adjust your scope uh, when you change cartridges with the WK-180. Now the WS-MCR was better for that. Uh, point of aim was generally point of impact with this guy. Uh, right over here, I was aiming there, aiming in the middle with just some like bulk crappy uh, federal independence, and I got pretty decent little groups with uh, with that. There's some federal uh, gold medal match over there, giving me a 0.8 inch group. That's fantastic. Uh, and then the other ones were more or less pretty close to uh, to where I was aiming, within about an inch or so. So, um, if you take a quick quick look between the two of them. Uh, accuracy wise, the WS is a little bit more accurate. I think if you find a good cartridge for both for either of them, or if you reload for them, uh, you're going to get them right around one inch or so at 100 yards. So between the two, uh, which one should you get and why? Well, with the WS MCR, I'm liking it as a three gun rifle because it's got these steel sides on it. It's got a more durable action in it. Uh, I haven't heard of as many parts breakages with them. Uh, so this is like, if you're going to go to a match and you want to do well at the match, don't have your gun go down. So WSMCR has been uh, fantastic for me for that. A little bit heavier, um, but again, doesn't really matter for three gun. Now, what I've done to my WK is set it up as a hunting rifle slash um, target rifle for certain things like known distance and that kind of thing where you're shooting slung up. So my support arm here is going to be in a sling. I'm not going to be able to uh, get around to the charging handle from the left-hand side. So I've got my charging handle on the right-hand side because all the manipulating of the firearm is going to be done with my right hand. So that's why I've got that charging handle on the side. And it's also why I have uh, taken off the brake. So I've got like tons of brakes that I could put on this thing. But if I'm going to go to hunting coyotes with it and I might not be able to get my hearing protection on, this bird cages are pretty good for that. They don't really compensate the uh, firearm at all. And they're not gonna direct that noise back to your ears like a brake wheel uh, really badly to uh, to your ears. So that's why I've decided to go with it. I'm doing the same uh, MOE fixed stock on here. I really like these stocks uh, for these rifles because they kind of smooth out the chunky butt that they got on them. Just smooth that out a little bit. Uh, they're very simple, very durable. And with the extra thick uh, uh, butt pad on them, I find the length of pull to be just about perfect. So I think that's how I would turn out recommending one, or one rifle over the other. Um, if you're just looking for hunting, low volume kind of stuff, I think the WK is a, a better rifle for that because it's lighter weight, the barrel's lighter. Uh, it's going to be a better like coyote gun. And, and that's what I intend on using this one for is, uh, is for coyotes. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more heavy duty, 
um, costs a little bit more. These things are typically running a hundred, hundred fifty dollars more, kind of a thing. Um, these could be a, a better deal. The uh, WSMCRs. Um, so really take a look at what you're trying to do with the rifle. Uh, think about that before thinking about uh, which one to purchase. Thanks for watching.